Good morning. Today's uh, devotion is the pilot has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. I just got back from the Association of Partners in Christian Education conference. We had great speakers and worship and workshops, and you may have seen my videos of us singing that I posted last week. So I thought that I would share just a little tidbit of what we learned. Our plenary speaker was John Pavlovitz. I will try to do his lectures justice. The text he was using for this week was Mark 4, 35 through 41. Hear the word of the Lord. On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. The other boats were with him, and a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And waking up, he rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Be silent, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why were you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Now we had several days of his teaching, but I will try to sum up the highlights. As we hit the three-year mark of this pandemic, we should all agree that we have had to live through quite a bit of turbulence. He had us think about what is our turbulence in our life? What is the turbulence in our church? What is shaking us? What winds are tossing us about? When our world is shaken, often we are either paralyzed or frantically panic. Neither response is what God wants for us. Worry, grief, fear, and confusion tend to shake all of us. We are called to transcend our environment. When a plane is in turbulence, the pilot often flies higher. This is hard to do. The disciples, who spent all their time with Jesus, still panicked when a storm hit. But they did remember that Jesus was in their boat. They were in the presence of the peace giver, and Jesus got them to the other side. They came through the storm. Actually, I like the way one of our preachers, C.C. Armstrong, put it. Jesus said to the waves, peace. Then he turned to the disciples and said, be still. So we need to remember that there are going to be storms in our lives, but we have been invited into the boat with the peace giver. Jesus is with us in the midst of our storms, waiting to give us peace and seat us to the other side. And now it is our job, as the ones who have been called through the storm, to give some peace to our fellow travelers. We are called to relieve fears when we can. We are called to share Jesus's peace and trust that we will get to the other side. Have a blessed week.